The question is, why haven't you hit those goals? Hey, hey. Okay, so you're probably gonna start seeing a whole bunch of videos on goals, goal setting, and all that kind of stuff. But this video, I really wanna dissect why you may not have been consistently hitting your goals. We're in a new year, thank God. Thank goodness, 2020 is over. <laughs> and I'm hoping you're a lot like me and you've been planning some new goals and some new accomplishments that you wanna reach for this year. It's a good year to try to really stretch and reach for some good goals. Um, but here's the thing. If you have historically written down goals or had goals in your life that you haven't hit, then the question is why haven't you hit those goals? Well, I kind of have a theory, I kind of have an answer, and that answer is you might not know your real why, right? Like, I know it sounds super cliche, and I'm, I'm all about like not trying to sound cliche, but it's true. Like, I was having a conversation with my husband about hitting goals and a lot of you know that I just recently uh, defended my dissertation. I'm officially Dr. Kiki Ramsey. Woo -hoo! <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> but I'm more excited because that process is over, right? But I, I set out to hit that goal. It took me a little over three years to actually do it, but I was very consistent and I really understood my why, right? I understood my why. For me, when it came to my PhD, Number one, it was a life goal. It was a life goal. I have always from, as long as I can remember being in college, wanted to be a psychologist. But for me at the time, I was a single mom. I was a non-traditional student where I had my son at college with me. And the thought of going to school for another six years to get a PhD, just, it wasn't no option. I needed to find a job and I'll work and make some money. Um, I did end up going to grad school for two additional years, but two is, different than six. Hello. Hallelujah. Um, but so I still had this goal of wanting to become a psychologist, more so a positive psychologist and an expert in that field. And so for me, my why was to really fulfill a lifelong goal of mine. The other why was I really wanted to be an expert. I wanted to be an expert in positive psychology. And so in order to do that, I knew that I needed to get more information and more knowledge. And so what I'm saying to you is, I think that a lot of us have this bigger why we do certain things. Like my bigger why is my children. I love my three children and I do what I do for them, right? I want them to have this amazing, beautiful life that I can provide for them. And so that's why I overall do everything that I do. They are my reasons why. But I also have a specific why I do everything that I do individually. And so what I'm saying for you is in this new year, figure out your why. Sit down and think about your overall why and then sit down and think about your specific why you're doing a certain task. Why is this certain task a goal of yours? And I'm telling you, once you actually get connected to why you're doing it, it becomes so much easier because you're going to face challenges. You're going to face trials. You're going to face tribulations. All of that, you're going to face those things. But if you understand why you are doing something and you're deeply connected to the why, I don't want you to just choose a why because you're like, you know, I need a why. No, you got to be deeply connected to the why. And so when you understand that, mm, you're going to reach your goals without a shadow of a doubt. So I hope this helped you. Um, there are a couple questions that you can ask yourself to really discover your why. Um, I have a couple of them in my book, Get Courageous Now. Um, you can find them there, but really pick up that resource and just dig deep within to understand why you're doing what you're doing. Hope this helps. See you next time.